I believe this is a new medical center right here. I thought it was another restaurant. Uh, this is at Mohawk Acres where Price Chopper, Family Dollar, and the United States Armed Forces Recruiting Center is located. And when this place opens up and Starbucks next to it opens up, there's going to be a lot of traffic issues. So the city of Rome had better start figuring that out. By the way, Burger King is right next door. And this area, not so much in the morning, but for lunchtime and early evening hours, uh, this is a traffic nightmare. Especially the intersections leading out to Chestnut Street and Black River Boulevard. But it doesn't seem that Rome is really too concerned about the traffic situation. There's already a lot of fender benders, a lot of bad drivers. There's the armed forces right there. Again, this is at the shopping mall next to Price Chopper. And they're starting to get Starbucks ready. I think that's a medical center, like I said. This is the Starbucks. Starbucks. That's for all the snowflakes. So, if you like Starbucks coffee and you're a conservative, consider this. When you buy Starbucks coffee, you're only promoting liberalism and funding liberalism. Keep that in mind. So, if you're a conservative, stay away from Starbucks. Somehow, Zoom Tan still manages to stay in business. But when there's a lot of traffic accidents at those intersections, especially when Starbucks opens up because people will be rushing in to get their coffee, rushing out to get to work or to get home, uh, the city will take five years doing a traffic pattern study. Market 32. As I was saying, they'll do five-year environmental study, a five-year traffic study, and then they'll take another five years trying to figure out who gets the contract to do whatever. So I figure 15 years before they'll actually do anything about the traffic. But the traffic just keeps getting worse every year on this boulevard because more businesses, more employees, and more and more cars. And what's really piss poor is that five o'clock, six o'clock in the evening and during lunchtime, there is never any, and I mean any, type of uh, traffic control on this boulevard. I mean, if <laughs> cops always tell me cars never do 50 miles an hour on this boulevard, well, that's a lot of bullshit because I notice a lot of cops who are off duty going home or coming in the work who are going way over the speed limit. I just don't think they care. <laughs> I mean, as long as uh, nobody causes a car accident, they just don't care how fast people go. But. 
The more businesses that open up on this boulevard, the more traffic, the more problems. And most drivers are careless. <laughs> Sears Oil, which has been here forever. And AmeriQ Credit Union. You can never have enough credit unions, and one thing Rome has a lot this of is Black is River credit Boulevard unions right there for and a small right city. settlement road. And right behind me is where the Mohawk River Trail starts at Olney's Flowers. And if you walk on the trail under the bridge, you can walk another section of the Mohawk River Trail, which leads all the way to the fish hatchery. It's maybe, oh, two miles. But, uh, just be careful when you're on this property, because the Olneys are really stubborn and basically assholes uh, as soon as you go off the trail property. It's like you only want to get a view of the river and they throw a fit with people. <laughs> I think they should concentrate less on people using the trail and concentrate a little more on uh, not ripping off their customers. Uh, Old news is highly overpriced. <laughs> and there's the river. And you can consider this the last section of trail, or the first section of trail. And I don't know if they're going to blacktop this or leave it crushed gravel. I prefer crushed gravel. But if you pave a trail, more people use it. That's the idea. It's also more expensive. And I don't know. I prefer gr crushed gravel. I mean, you, you're using blacktop. It's not exactly environmentally clean. Got a little bike rack there. Mitsubishi Motors. I get a lot of junk mail from them. And you come right out on Black River Boulevard. Of course, power lines ruin everything. What's really sad is that I remember Back in the late 80s, utility company said that there would be no more utility poles by the year 2000. Electricity would be uh, through, you would receive electricity through a Wi-Fi signal. There would be no power lines, no fiber optics. and. Here we are today, still using the same shit we did like 40 years ago. I mean, kind of tells you something. Another credit union. Rome has like 20 credit unions, it's ridiculous.